Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Spurs Up. As always, I'm Jack Taylor, alongside Derek Rush. And before we start our show, I want to give a special shout-out to uh, Spurs Up creator D'Angelo Stevenson. He just landed the job as a producer yes, at WACH Fox oh boy, here D. in Columbia. I'm happy for so, him. So, huge shout-out to him. going to be amazing, yeah. Back to regular business. We are joined this week, our first guest of the semester, Justin Mackey, former Gamecock basketball player. He was here for four years. He's been in Columbia all of his life. And he was a part of the fabled Final Four team a couple years back. So, Justin, thank you so much for coming on today. No problem. Thanks for having me. And uh, starting off, I mean, we got to talk about the Final Four. Talk about the experience, right. <laughs> being in Phoenix, that ride, you know, beating, Mer uh, excuse me, Mercer? Was it the first game? Um, Mercer, Duke. Who did we have the first game? We had Marquette. 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 I knew it was, it was Marquette. Marquette. Yeah. Something like that. Marquette, mm -hmm. Duke, Baylor, Florida, and then up into Gonzaga. Um, man, for one, it was just such a, such a blur, really. Yeah. Um, but once we got into things, once we got away from things and looking back at it, it was a lot of fun, uh, a lot of hard work. I remember we, uh, SEC tournament, we lost to uh, Alabama. And then we got, came back, coach, you know, we had dropped, I think, like five out of seven or six out of seven or something like that. And coach, you know, we got off the plane and said, look, we're going to make the tournament, but I need you guys to be locked in. I'm going to give you guys two days off, do whatever you need to do in those two days. Make sure you don't get in trouble, but do whatever you need to do. Just right. remove yourself from basketball, and when we come back together, let's go to work. Um, and, and that's what we did. Uh, when we came back practicing, you know, everybody was in sync. Everybody was ready to go, and we just made a, a memorable run. And kind of speaking on the run, sorry to cut you off, kind of speaking on the run, how much would you say, especially getting into that Elite Eight play going into the Final Four, how much would you say that was more so momentum-based versus um, – Strategy and planning, because I mean, obviously, you guys had a you guys had a nice backcourt, mm -hmm. very strong, even even more strong front court. Y'all just were y'all moved in sync, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. um, it, it seemed like y'all were on, on one page, but I, I just kind of wanted to know how. What would you say? How much did momentum play well, into momentum that? Well, momentum played a played a played a big huge role. Yeah. Um, being in Greenville, playing in South Carolina, uh, helped us a lot because fans got to come up there watch us right, play. Exactly. Um, the the fan support was unbelievable, man. I've like you got, like you said, I've been around Columbia my whole life, and I don't ever remember really seeing uh, the fan support ever being like that. Um, the way people in the community just rallied um, and, and came together. Like I remember, um, it was a video, and and my voice was on it. Didn't know they were recording, but I said uh, uh, we had just got back from New York, and I said I don't even know who's gonna be in Columbia. It seemed like everybody was in New York because <laughs> um, it really did. Right. I mean. I mean, and you had uh, us, we were there, Florida was there, Wisconsin was there, and Baylor were there, and we had the most fans all the way in New York. Wow. Um, and it was just, it, it was just unbelievable, uh, the, the, the momentum that the fans gave us. Do you think, how much more special did it make it that the women at the same time were riding as well as they were and doing as good as they were? It was incredible. The only thing I really wish was uh, both teams got to enjoy it together, um, you know, which we did celebrate it afterwards, mm -hmm. um, but, but... It, it was just so much work going into it for both teams that during that time, really when we were going, they were here. When they were going, we were here. Um, so it really wasn't a lot of uh, getting to enjoy that together. But um, but I, like I say, we did something historic for the school, um, and 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 you know we we go down in history for it. So let's kind of go local here for a second. Um, I know um, for one, I know you're a member of, of Omega Psi Phi fraternity. <laughs> yeah. Um, I am also a member of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, but I wanted to speak from the from the local standpoint of being from Irmo, like you said. Mm -hmm. Kind of speak on the uh, the talent and the the I guess the the rise of the basketball scene in South Carolina. How do you feel about what are some of the guys coming out of here? Uh, out of these high school, you got Waylon Napier, uh -huh. Russell Jones, you know Trey Jackson from Blythewood. You got mm -hmm. a couple of different names that a lot of people are are really have recruiting heavily. What do you mm -hmm. think about that? Um, it, it's good. It's great. Um, something about South Carolina is. We've always been an underrated basketball state. Right. Um, it's always been talent here. Always been talent coming out of here, going to major schools, doing major things. Um, but but it, it's good. It's good to see younger guys that I can remember coming to USC basketball camp or younger guys that I remember coming watching me play at Irmo, wanting autographs. Now they're doing that. And it's good to see uh, the youth watching them and wanting to be them and wanting to emulate them and the things that they're doing. So it, it's real good. You talk about talent coming out of South Carolina, you can't really not talk about 
Zion Williamson. You saw mm-hmm. what happened to him mm-hmm. a couple nights ago, and you've seen the, the backlash that has come in from the sports world about college basketball. Speak to that a bit. What are, you, what are your thoughts on the importance of college basketball or the lack of importance and whether players should go straight from high school to the NBA or try to play you know, in college? It's important. College basketball is important because it's development, not just on the court. It's development for off the court. Um, it develops you for life. You meet different people of a wide variety of people because when you're growing up um, playing basketball, you, you meet a variety of people, but you all meet them because you have the same common ground and that's basketball. When you come to college, you start meeting different people in classes and in the Russell House or wherever uh, you go to school at, the community eating place is. Um, So it's very important. Uh, In terms of going straight from high school to to NBA, I do think guys should be able to do that because you do have some guys uh, like uh, Zion Williamson, in my opinion, that you know, it's good that he's in college for the off the co- off the court experience, but right. on the court, of course, Coach K- he's with Coach K, so he's going to learn some things. But at the same time, as far as his potential is untapped, and his skill set, I think is pretty much where it's at. Um, so I think he would have been able to make that jump, as well as a couple of other guys. Um, but but still, college basketball is important because you're only going to have about five to ten guys in in every class that could actually do that. Mm-hmm. So for everybody else, everyone it's extremely else, right? important. Um, the backlash of whether he should play or not, yeah, he should play. He should play because, you know, everybody keeps, oh, the money, the money, the money. What people, like Charles Barkley said it the other night, um, what people forget is you play basketball because you love it. Yeah, yeah, you do want to make money if you can, but you worry about that when you get there. In this moment, at this time, you're playing because you love the game. You're playing because, uh, because you want to accomplish things like like going to a Duke and playing in a national championship game, which they do pretty much at least twice a decade. So um, I, I think he should still play, and I think he will still play. I met him uh, when he came down here for his unofficial visit, and he's a good kid. Backtracking a little bit to that Final Four team and back to that year, it seemed in, that, in the tournament as of that time that the team could do no wrong. Everyone was firing at all cylinders. Mm-hmm. Everyone was playing to the best of their ability. Do you think that obviously – you, you knew you were graduating, you knew Dwayne was gonna, or was gonna be graduating, you knew Sendarius was gonna be gone. Do you think that had that team, had that group been able to stick together, had been able to you know, maybe play one more season, that the success that they had that year could have been completely built, up, built upon and even gone even farther? Well, um, really, I, I get asked that a lot. And I tell people, really, that team kinda, you know, not that exact team, but the three guys you just talked about and Dwayne, Sin, myself, PJ was there, Chris Silva was there. Um, really, the year before, we won 25 games mm-hmm. um, for what, and finished tied for fourth in the SEC. For whatever reason, the NCAA didn't see fit to put us in. But I think had we made the tournament uh, that year, I think maybe, I, maybe not Final Four, but I think we could have won one or two games, which then maybe even propels us even more the next year to maybe in that moment of the Final Four, maybe go and beat Gonzaga. Um, but but it's no question, even with us three leaving, um, you know, I think I still think PJ made a good decision. I, th- I think that he made a decision he wanted to make, and, and ultimately it was his decision to make. Um, but I think if PJ stays, I think if you have uh, Raw's situation go a little bit different, um, I think you're talking about a tournament team last year. Mm-hmm. So, you know, just so many things go into it, and, and you know, you can look back at at basically every situation in life and say, oh, if this or if that. But it is what it is. Um, the team is good right now. Um, they're playing well right now. They're, they're in fourth right now. And I think, I think they, can, they can finish uh, uh, down the stretch and, and, and make the tournament. I think if they get in the tournament, they'll make a run because they're playing great defense right now. And one thing that helped us in that Final Four run was no team we played against had played a defense like that. Um, and... and, and and defense wins championships and, and helps you go far. So if they keep doing what they're doing, they'll be fine. Um, kind of want to talk about student life a little bit from when you were back uh, in your days at USC. Mm-hmm. What, was, what, was, what was the spot, what was the go-to move, I guess, for, <laughs> for Justin Mackey on campus at the University of South Carolina? On, on campus? <laughs> On campus. So we talking, we talking uh, good things, right? We're talking, okay. we're talking okay. tasteful okay. here. We're uh, talking uh, tasteful uh, things. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Russell House, obviously. All right. Uh, Russell House is a nice spot. Um, but really, to tell you the truth, uh, Russell House and the Doty. I mean, you when you're an athlete, you really don't have all that time to. Oh, I think I'm gonna go here today. I think I'm gonna go there today. Really, you know, we would rally in Russell House uh, before weightlifting, before practice, 
and you know kind of have fun with each other and other people but uh, other than that you know the Doty is really a place where a lot of athletes meet each other come together and kind of develop those friendships because you're in there till about nine o'clock at night so um, th those two places I would say. All right, well, stick around as we got a little bit more to talk about with Justin Mackey as far as his personal life and life after college. But until next time, South Carolina, Spurs up. <laughs>